Today's show is brought to you by Skillshare.com. At Skillshare.com, they have thousands of classes available, not just simply about business or job hunting, but lots of different classes on a host of different subjects, almost anything you can think of, and they have one low price associated with your learning. They have classes about particular technologies you can learn, pottery, public speaking. I have a half dozen of my classes about job hunting there, writing, photography, film, almost anything you can think of, they have Skillshare classes available. Now, if you use my link, thebiggamehunter.us forward slash Skillshare, they'll offer a free trial and 30% off if you decide to join. There's a lot to learn, and Skillshare is a place where you can learn it. Now, let's get back to today's show. This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 2062. I'm your host, Jeff Walton, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. Welcome to Thursday, and this is a show where I politely address a creep. And it's the best way I can put it. Women, you'll recognize this scenario. And um, I'm kind of polite in responding because, you know, frankly, I don't think it's helpful if I rip someone. But, you know, I, I basically tell them what a jerk they are. Hope you find this show helpful for those of you who are the creeps out there. And um, I'll just simply say, if you like today's show, if you like the podcast in general, I just want to encourage you, share it. Leave a five-star review in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you listen to the show, because it does help other people find it. And I'll also say, by sharing it, it'll help other people discover it, and they need help. They obviously need help. And with that, we'll be back in just one moment. Top Resume is a solid service to get you a better resume reasonably priced. It's not a premium service. It's for people like you and I who can afford a certain amount of money and also need a great result. And even better, they have a plan through a firm that allows you to stretch your payments for service over the course of the year to something like 20 some odd dollars or 30 some odd dollars per month so that you don't have to write a large check, which right now, if you're not working, is really important to you. So use the link in the show notes. It will help you get a resume and if you want a LinkedIn profile done for you very inexpensively. And let me deal with the last part of this first. Even though they're trying to use me to get a bonus, maybe what they're trying to do is help you improve upon your circumstances and you interpret that as they're just using you. Maybe if they presented you with a job that would pay you more and you find more interesting, you go, oh, I see. But instead, you prefer to take this provincial view that you're being manipulated and conned. You got to stop this. Yes, recruiters are trying to get a payday. So what? So what? Aren't you trying to get paid? You're not volunteering for work, are you? No, you expect to be compensated for your effort, and so do they. What's wrong with that? And in terms of you know, never asking to be recruited, I want to remind you of, of something. The person who gets ahead isn't always the smartest. They don't always work the hardest, although those are great criteria uh, qualities to have. People get ahead by being alert to opportunity. Sometimes that opportunity is internal to their firm, but you know what? Most of the time it's external. And that's what these folks are trying to present. All you have to do All you have to do is say, thank you, but I'm not interested in this opportunity. They may say, but why? It doesn't really appeal to me. It doesn't advance my career. That's very simple. And if they persist, all you have to do is set the spam filter and block them. That easy. And if they've sent it as an in-mail, start marketing it as spam, and LinkedIn will block it. I wouldn't do that one because you never know when someone turns up something better. Regardless, give them a simple answer. Now, as for hitting on them, this defies imagination. You have no relationship with them and you suddenly think that they're going to go, oh, oh, let me just rush into his arms. Oh, 
Stop the fantasy. Really, stop the fantasy. You know how relationships happen. Relationships happen over time. They're not an instant gratification expert, uh, exercise for, for you to engage in. If you want to fantasize that's your prerogative, no one can stop you. But when all is said and done, don't start looking for love in, in an in-mail. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It really is. And judging by what I hear from female recruiters on Facebook who all go, ooh, what is with this idiot who's hitting on me? They're just trying to do a job. They're not trying to get turned on by you. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, I've got a lot that's in the show notes that will help you. Go there. Take a look at some of the things I highlight I know it can help you with your search, but I want you to do one thing for me. And that is put in your phone, the big game hunter.us, Jeff Alpin, my name. And when you need help, when you need advice, when you have a question, come over to the website, go exploring in the blog, contact me for coaching or because you have a question, I'd love to help you. In the meantime, I hope you have a terrific day, and most importantly, be great!